Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Surf Hour. We are jumping in again and obviously we're now on a losing streak because I'm a fool. Uh, and this time I'm going to play as Tainted Andromeda because I want to. He's a fun character um, and I will get a win as him. You know, to be fair, I probably won't. But it's been a long time since I played as this guy, like a really long time. So I'm hoping I can kind of remember how to effectively play him, but we'll see. We'll see. All I'm hoping for really is getting as many consumables as possible that I can feasibly pick up that aren't a half red heart. <laughs> so I can use my active item to actually create stuff. Um, but we'll see how that works out. I can't. I think on this character you want to completely avoid item rooms. There's nothing in them. Uh, so we will be doing that. Using a pill is good for us. Uh, but we should have an easy time with these guys. I'm just hoping we don't get the goddamn Fallout boss or whatever that guy's called. I can't remember his name. Penny's good for us. But yeah, with this character, if you haven't seen him before, obviously we've got very weird shooting mechanics. Shooting from the middle of the room um, makes uh, aiming kind of difficult. And then on top of that, um, we can only create items using Singularity. And Singularity only charges via picking up consumables like pennies and keys and stuff. So he's a relatively tricky boy. Relatively tricky boy. Um, he's not an easy character to play. And you do somewhat rely on luck of the draw in terms of like consumables dropping and stuff of course getting an item that forces consumables to drop more often like contract from below or like sack head stuff like that is super super useful uh, there is a few different ways that you can a few different items that you can use that are really really helpful for making sure you can produce a lot more items but you also do get a full charge as you just saw there from killing the boss we could do this here and it's not good but it is a decent source of damage output i i don't particularly like this guy because he's a little bit risky bisky but an alternative form of damage um, is kind of nice to have. Uh, we'll see if he ends up causing us bodily harm or not. Who knows? Me knows. Oh, that was really bad. I managed to nestle myself in there with um, with the enemy, and it wasn't really ideal. Okay, we do have a tinted rock over here. Uh, that should blow it up. Oh, really? It bonked it out of the way. Okay, let's try and get one of these guys over here. I do have some bombs to blow this up, but obviously... In a room like this, if I can do it without it. Big rooms tend to be a lot harder for actually, like, shooting where you want to shoot. There you go. Good stuff. And we've got two more spiders. I know one more spider over here. Yeah, big rooms are a little bit harder to shoot where you want to shoot, but it is what it is. Um, and the seed packet, pretty good trinket. As for the question of the day to day, mm -mm -mm. what's the decision you've been fighting with recently? What's a decision you've been fighting with? Something that is weighing on you or something you think is hard to make. Now, I'm going to plant a bomb here, but it's just going to regen the rocks, isn't it? Yep. I'm going to do it again. Man, the regening rocks thing is so annoying sometimes. Anyways, it worked out. Pop this again. Dead Tooth. Unfortunately, Dead Tooth, probably pretty piss poor for us. And, of course, my bomb boy immediately... Got rid of that soul heart. The worst thing about about Mr. Boombastic here, it isn't that he's a cheeky fucker that'll explode on you. It's that he does a full heart of damage. Does he really need to do a full heart of damage? Is there any need for it? Like, could you just not? It'd make life a lot easier for everyone if you didn't. I mean, it does good damage, but full heart damage to me, really? Couldn't you just do a half heart and... Not be a, a dick about it. It'd be, it'd be beautiful. It'd be beautiful. Anyways, well, this guy bled that dude. Oh god, taking some damage I really shouldn't be taking right now. Okay, we've got another charge. We'll save this charge the for uh, the boss. I was just about to say, really, you're not going to hit any of those. At least we got double soul hearts back off of this. I'm liking that. As you can see, we are overcharging a little bit here. Good extra bomb. But yeah, I'm going to save it for the boss. And this guy shouldn't be too bad. Whoa, look how slow our little seed boy is there. What the fuck? Why is he so slow? Okay, he's not anymore. That was really weird. Really? Bomb boy, you're going to blow up on the tiny little fly that I had easily killed already, pretty much. That's a very bad hit there. Oh my god. Having a little bit of a hard time with him here. 
We'll get there, we'll get there. Hey, there you go. Of course, you're going to have to spawn in a new friend to end this off. But we'll definitely do Devil Deal here. And we'll go in here and we'll do boom and boom. And we get Quasar, which is kind of interesting. Um, and this is obviously pretty good. Uh, Quasar's pretty de pretty decent. Getting Lemma Getting Wisps is good. Basically, if we end up forging a bad item, it means we get something out of it. Uh, we've got a card back over here. I'm trying to go quickly check what that was because I'm not entirely sure. Oh, no, no. It's the little vial of blood, isn't it? Ignore me. Uh, I should go to my shop, though, at least. I should go to my shop. But yeah, Quasar's pretty useful. Being able to create three Lemmageddon Wisps is nice. I should blow this up for the uh, money, but more importantly, for the charges. Although it wasn't many. Right. What's this penny in here? Can we gain access to this? No, we can't. Sadly not. Sadly not. Right. So far, this is going pretty well, though. Pretty well. I've got some okay items, uh, although one of them is a little bit risky. Um, okay, I forgot that this guy doesn't... That the shop doesn't have anything I can purchase. I kind of forgot about that. Okay, so that's a bit useless there. Hopefully, we get a planetarium coming soon. I can't remember how planetariums work with this guy. I think I just have to use singularity in the planetarium room to gain planetarium pool items. Pretty sure that's how it works. Pretty sure. Heals you for one heart if you have ceremonial robes. I mean... We don't need to heal for a heart, but it's kind of an interesting interaction between that little vial thing there. I'm not actually sure where we got the vial, because I think normally you only get that from specific items. I don't know. Either way. Consumable gain has been pretty good so far. We've been getting quite a lot per room. Not got anything, like, sort of that's boosting that amount at the moment, so we're not going to expect a, a ton coming our way. Dude. The explosion radius on this fool. But yeah, at least now if we get something kind of icky, we can Quasar it. Ooh, Mega Chest. I mean, unfortunate for us, Mega Chests do require up to seven keys to open. And we currently have one. So, not great. Don't know where those bees came from either. Strength. Um, I guess I'll just pop. Good, good. Again, let's try and get another charge before I do our boss here. In case we get another uh, devil deal or whatnot. Actually, to be fair, we should probably look for a planetarium first. Because there's a half decent chance on this floor we have one. 41% chance. I'd say it's worth looking around. What we need now is flight. Flight would be lovely. Oh my god, there's so much going on in this room. Die, butthole creator. He doesn't create buttholes. He is a butthole. Um, we'll spawn unlocked. That's kind of nice. We, unfortunately, it doesn't really affect us for treasure rooms, though, does it? We don't get much out of that. Extra bombs. I'm liking all the extra bombs we're getting right now. I'll tell you that for nothing. Right. Um, yeah, like I said, we're still just checking for planetarium right now. It's plausible. Hey, that was a nice kill. Oh, you shoot. Okay, good to know. Extra keys, lovely. We are one charge off. Hey, there you go. So we got a charge now. Planetarium, and then boss. If there is a planetarium, that is. Ooh. I like it when my boom guy goes straight to the middle of the room and does some shit straight away there. That's nice. Ooh, wait. I think that guy just got poisoned by my portal. Does Dead Tooth give my portal a poison aura? I need to check that out. One sec, okay, let's let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, no, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so unfortunately no planetarium this floor. But we do have singularity ready. We could go for two boss items, I guess. Unfortunately, we did not get the keys required to open the mega chest, obviously. Uh, it's probably worth us taking damage, though, for um, for this. I'll, I'll do it after the boss, though, once we've got charges available. No point picking stuff up and wasting charges right now. Let's do our boss first and see what happens. Oh, yes, the bomb boy hit him straight away. Oh, beautiful. I love it when they get real slow like that. What's going on with that? Okay, so we've got double charges here. Let's just pop two in here. We get Sprinkler and we gain Fruity Plum. Fruity Plum will take this, I'll, of course, Quasar into... Mongo Baby, Bumbo, and Bozo by the looks of it. So not great selections, especially um, Bumbo. OK, 
Okay. Pretty plum though. I like you. I'm trying to use my poison aura when I can, but a little bit tricky. Really? Another one? I'm um, fuck it. I'm going whole hog this run. Uh, we get another charge. We get ourselves stitches, which is another active item. Um, is there any way I could get a battery, maybe? Be nice to use Quasar on this. Right now, obviously, that's not very useful. Uh, secret room is looking to be here. There you go. Very nice. Honestly, we've got a lot of bombs here. Let's just crack all these open. Pop them all. Could have been 48 hour energy. Range down doesn't matter too much for us, I don't think. Check the shop for a battery charge, potentially, or a sack that could give us a battery charge. Uh, there you go, there's a battery charge. Good, good. Uh, I'll, I'll pop the sack as well. Very bad, <laughs> considering. Oh, and it blew up my donation machine as well. Great. Uh, I'm going to pop this in the shop. Voodoo head is pretty terrible for us, but... Oh, do you know what, actually... I should have kept Voodoo Head and taken Stitches instead of Quasar. Because then I could have get, gotten all of the cash rooms for free. Uh, actually, I could still do that, technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let me just check. Uh, improves cash room layout rewards. Spawns a coin every cash room. Do you know what? I know that Quasar's really good. But I actually think this might be better. Considering it improves the layouts and rewards and stuff. I think that's is, is pretty decent. It's a pretty decent setup. Stitches is good for, for ability for us to get stuff behind gaps anyways. And the ability to get into every single cash room for free now is pretty nice. Being able to get one penny pair as well isn't obviously generally really good, but one penny is one charge pip for us, so that's rather nice. Okay, uh, I'm going to lose my land again wisps here, obviously. Right, what we got going in here? We do have some enemies in here. Wow, this is unfortunately terrible. Right, nothing to see. Did get a charge out of it though, which is rather nice. Pop back up over here. And... So we'll do this, pop that. Dude, come on with the fucking active items. This is ridiculous. Luckily, I can suck this chest out here, look. It's moving slowly, but it's moving. Um, Yeah, it's a bit goddamn silly that I'm getting so many fucking active items from, from Singularity. I kind of think it's ridiculous that it can spawn active items, to be honest. I mean, I guess, I suppose it, it itself is a pocket active, so I kind of get it, but it's, 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 it's a bit annoying. Come on, get further out here so I can push you the rest of the way. Good. More charge pips. But yeah, bugger you with the goddamn active items, I tell you. It's very, very annoying. Again, I can pull this chest out here to safety by just... Waiting for a minute. It's rather nice. Gotta make sure it gets far enough out that the loot doesn't drop on top of the spikes. Make sure it's fully, fully, fully off of the spikes first. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> make sure it's fully off the spikes. Literally still does the exact same thing. It's okay though, because as, as I said, uh, falls over here. Although lust here is not, not something I want to use anyways, so... So far, not particularly happy with my decision, because I've got that dusty D10 that I don't want. Um, that I could have used the Quasar on. And um, my my cash rooms have been pretty trash. <laughs> cash rooms have not been too great. I've got all this money and like nothing to do with it. I, th I think there was meant to be an item in there. Wait, is that one of my rooms? 
It is. That's one of my rare secret rooms. Nice. It was, yeah, there was definitely meant to be an item in there. Uh, and unfortunately, this character screwed me over a little bit here. Now, I can use Singularity in a secret room to generate an item, and I'll probably do exactly that once I have a, the availability. So I kind of forgot about that, I'll be honest. Oh, it turned that guy into a maggot. Well, how do you do? Oh, there's our planetarium. So we want to be using a charge for that as well. Maybe we'll do secret room on another floor. Good. Oh, no. I lost my Burzer damage. What am I ever going to do? All right, we're well, one charge off a planetarium item here. God knows how good that'll end up being for us. We'll see. Come on. Give us a penny. You know you want to game. Oh my god, this room got hectic real fast. Oh, dude, there's creep under there. Okay. I'd like to know how much HP I have right now. I'm feeling like it's not very good. Ah, I was hoping they'd count as new pickups. That could be an interesting way to farm, but I don't think hearts count. God. Annoying ass room. This guy, I hate this enemy. I can't even bloody hit him. Okay. Right, planetarium time. Please, please, please have something of value for me. Yes, that's very good. That is very, very good. I like that a lot. Okay, we in the money now. We have a good item. Saying that, it's not the end-all be-all good item. It's still doesn't give us a ton of extra damage. But it is still good. Unfortunately, planetariums can't be used more than once to generate items, I don't believe. That's why it went grey and, like, shattered. Oh god, they bounced. I forgot your shots bounced. I forgot about that, big boy. We've got a chest here that we can cheese our way over towards. Nice. Thank god there wasn't a troll bomb there, otherwise that would have been a bit devastating. Okay. Um, I, I want to check the shop again. I don't know why. I've got so much money. I just feel like going into the shop is useful somehow, even though I know it's not really. Um, coupon will make something free. This is pretty useful, actually. This makes our money more valuable. Hoping for some soul hearts, of course. At the minute, we're getting literally nothing. Oh, another card. Hey, there's a soul heart. Hey, another soul heart. Okay, reasonably happy with that. I think I'm going to take the moon card. Actually, no, no, no. I'll take the world card. World card's slightly more valuable, I think. And I still have to use a bomb to get into the secret room, but still. Right. Boss man. Is there any way, boss man? Actually, 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 actually. I've just realized. I've just realized. Don't be an idiot. Use the moon card. Well, first of all, bomb this machine. We get an extra soul heart. There you go. We got a charge. Cool. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Just because we're about to head up to the boss, we might as well get an additional charge to use on a potential devil slash angel deal, whichever we get here. We have this little fool right here. Need a fire rate increase. Fire rate's still not great. Oh, that did so much damage. Wow. I am surprised. Oh, God. Oh, he shoots as well. This room does not have enough space for this. Tom Foolery. Did get another devil deal here. Boom and boom. <sighs> Guess what we got, people? It's another fucking active item. Yay! It's a good active item as well, but I'm sticking to the, my, my voodoo head strategies here. I'm getting really pissed off, though, with the amount of goddamn actives. Like, what's the actual point, game? What's the actual point? You think you're funny? Okay, health-wise, we're doing way better than I thought we would be. Ah oh, yes. Better cash room layouts. It's just a shame that the fucking chests are absolute trash still. 
God damn, it was awful. It was a pretty good layout as well, and yeah, still. Okay, since we got two black hats out of this guy, I'm going to try and play this dude. How much does he take off me, by the way? Oh, he takes a lot. Oh, do you know what? That was pretty worth it. I took a big old gamble there, but that was that was pretty worth it. Spent a lot of HP on him. Considering that that room gave us two black hearts, I felt a little bit more justified. Should I be trying to use Cash Room uh, to spawn singularity items? Would that be a good idea? Uh, also, did I use my world card on this floor, not realizing I don't have mapping? I'm pretty sure I did. That's uh, quite the oof. That's quite the oof. Don't get hit by the blue spiky block. That would be a monumental error. Ah, oh, you fucking idiot. My brain. My brain, she don't work too good. My brain. My brain is broken. Right. Minus, can you kill? Yeah, can you get that guy? You're doing a real bad job of it so far, Minus. Can't lie. Singularity. Okay. Let's try and find secret room and use it in there. We should have just bought the moon card now, goddammit. A penny for some overcharge. Oh god. Oh my god, this room. This room's tragic. We got we got a lot of minions and stuff flying around though, which is nice. One of them being stitches, which of course doesn't really do much, but still. He's 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 here. He's along for the ride. Extra key. Secret room maybe here. Take the gamble. Oh. No. Good. Oh my god, the amount of large rooms is too damn high. Trying my, my damnedest to use Dead Tooth here just to do, eke out a bit more DPS because rooms like this just take forever otherwise. The ice is nice, I will say. Oh my lord, he came fucking barreling in. Sunshine, where did you come from? Secret room here, maybe? Nope. Um, okay. Secret room, where could you be? Potentially at the end of this corridor, maybe. There you go, baby. We get, yeah, it's actually pretty good, I'll take that. Pills. Speed up's good. Get another charge, that's good. Ooh, we'll come back for that. Uh, actually, do you know what? Pop this here. I hate it. I genuinely hate it. What, what's what's the point, game? What, what's, what's the big idea? Like, do you want to know how to make a character really, really, really fun? Is if you take their main way of gaining items and just make it fucking pointless. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's it. Just make it really, really pointless. I deal. I fucking deal. How many actives we had so far? Someone someone count it out. Someone give me a grand total, because goddamn, it's too fucking many. The game needs systems to stop this from happening. It's silly. I get that it's just look of the draw and that's the whole idea of, an, of a roguelike, but it's just not fun. <laughs> right. Uh, we got two charges here. I'm just going to I'm pretty sure I can't pop these in secret room again. Let's go with this. Oh, look, it's another active item. We got Baby Pluto here, though. Baby Pluto is kind of cute. Baby Pluto, kind of cuter. Anyways, let's go down. Um, I'll take one of my 19 active items with me. The, the worst part is, they ain't even good. That woman ain't even fan. 
been playing through uh, GTA 5 again recently and oh, some of the voice lines in that game. Wade is just an amazing character. Don't even know what hit me there. Oh, one of the little floating teeth got me, I think. Right. Stitches. Give us something good, Stitches, here. Right. One of you better slap my booty. Okay, that's that's pretty booty slapping. Ooh. And a straight away with a bad trip to take away what I've just gained. Don't know how to feel about that one. I do know how to feel about it. I'm sad. Oh, got a mid air. Back up the little buddy. I mean, the good thing is at the minute, despite all the active items, we are actually killing rooms reasonably quickly with the limited items we have. Like, we're doing pretty well. But, just imagine how much better we'd be doing if we had the item, the amount of items we should have right now. Just imagine it. Um, I think we want luck out of all these. I don't even care about the money, I just want the charges. Ah, I gambled, I gambled. 50% chance of getting an item the second time round. It halves every time. I gambled on it and it was not worth the gamble. Oh, the, the fucking boom boy. Little boom fly destroyed that instantly. Got somewhere to spend our money now, good. I, I swear, these guys, when I'm playing as Mammon, never pay out. Oh, you're playing as any other character, pays out in literally one go. Dude. These guys should have a minimum payout of, like, two keys. M maybe three. Paying four keys for one chest is obscene. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Haha, you didn't create any bombs, suckers. Apart from this one that did. Doubles the current charge of the active item. Adds one charge to active items that are currently have no charge. I don't even know how that works. It, did, it works on a thingy as well, though. Uh, right. Why does this mum always start with lower HP? What's that about? I don't know. I don't understand. It confuses me deeply. Got an angel deal here. That's rather nice. I guess we'll take Polaroid. Boom and boom. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know? An item that is, while nice, not great because we will lose the damage over time. And the Bible, which, ooh, could you guess? Oh, it's another active item. Oh, hello again, you. Oh, Mum's knife literally completely ruins this character. There's no synergy. Did not know that. That is sad to see. Oh, dude. This this curse room tactic has been the biggest load of stink. Thoroughly disappointed. Yeah, I'm really surprised to see that this guy has literally no interaction with Mum's knife whatsoever. You literally just get Mum's knife and it completely ruins his base mechanic. That's a bit sad. That's a little upsetting to see. I mean, it's nice to have Mum's knife for a little bit here, but... Cool to see some synergy. We're destroying through rooms. We are now at the womb as well. Uh, in the womb, you can only generate items guaranteed within special rooms. So I think that includes curse rooms. I'm going to have to test that out. To test that theory. Nah, that does not include curse rooms. The certain certain list of rooms, I think, I think like uh, vault rooms and stuff count um, that can generate uh, items. The rest of them won't generate any items anymore. Boss rooms still will as well, but yeah, little bit of a bummer on that behalf. 
This is kind of like our end game build at this point, which honestly, pretty shoddy end game build. Like I said, we'd be about 10 or so items richer. Now, it's maybe not quite 10, but 8 or so items richer if we didn't have to deal with the fact that the game just gave us non-stop active items. Just not fun. If I've got an active, fuck off giving me any more. I don't want any more. Actives in this game, honestly, someone someone put a post on Reddit recently and it was like, what's your like hot take with Isaac? And one of them, I'd never really thought about it before, but I, I actually really agreed. Active items in Isaac are kind of BS. In that like, the vast majority of them are either useless or like, only a mild advantage. And there's like, sort of a handful of maybe 20 or so that are like, useful or really good. And other than that, they're all just like, eh, don't care. If I, if I, if I have them, it's nice. If I didn't have them, whatever. And it's like, ugh, kind of sucks to think about. There's just so many active items that are just so bleh. Obviously, modding does change that. That means there's more modded ones that are useful. But still. Oh, I can't fucking hit this guy. There you go, finally. Don't need an extra charge here. But yeah, I think we're still going to win this run by the looks of things. I'm hoping at least. I just realised I went to uh, the dark, uh, the, the light path here to get the four chests. Four chests will have items in them, will he? Goddamn. That ain't how this works. Right. Two halves of a boy. I can deal. There's the father and his boy playing catch. And I've killed the father. Cool. Oh, we get devil deal. Nice. Multi-dimensional baby is actually really good. Gimpy's reasonably useful. Does this kill me? I think it does. Like that, that'll set my HP to one, won't it? Characters account of red hearts set there. Yeah, it does. It says it right there in the description. Ain't touching that. Then that'd be too much of a health loss. That would be too much of a health loss for me. Un momento. Right, let's keep her going. So, yeah. I guess a multidimensional baby, just because of the, the, the way that this character works, is reasonably good. Like, not, not insane, but there's a half-decent chance that we pass through a multidimensional baby, just because our tears are, like, all over the place. And that includes our minion as well, so overall pretty decent. Quite nice to have. Oh god, we got some of the Skolex boys coming in there. That's such a good trinket to have in certain situations. Especially the paying out double on sack rooms. If you play as like Maggie or someone that can take advantage more often. Getting a double payout on the one that gives you an angel deal item. Like, imagine that. Or the one that gives you like 7 soul hearts. Imagine getting 14 soul hearts. I don't know if that's exactly how that would work, but that's how I'm, that's how I'm choosing to imagine that it works. I've had a fun time with this character, whether we live or die, though. Fun to get back into some of the modded characters, especially some of the, the wackier ones. Oh, I don't need to actually do that, and I think there was meant to be two items in here. Ooh. Oh, at least we got soul hearts here. Feel good now. Right, go up this way. Just blasting through the rooms. I'm not even gonna. Eh, I was just gonna say, I'm not gonna bother opening that chest. Actually, we could get another charge from it, so. Bad gas. Ah, oh, there you go. Let this guy look. What did I tell you? Oh, it's brownie, though. I hate brownie, and everyone knows I hate brownie, and it's the worst thing ever, but I take it every time. It's just become tradition now that if I get brownie, even though I knowingly hate it, I have to take it. It has just become tradition. It's, it's like guillotine. It's one of those items that you, you know you hate. You know you don't want it. 
but you've got to take it for the meme. And especially on a run, like, where we're not on a streak anymore. We're, we're free of the constraints of the streak. Gimpy, thank you. We're free of the constraints of the streak. I feel like it gives us even more reason to fuck stuff up. <laughs> and take those goddamn risks. But I will try and, like, basically my plan right now um, is I'm going to play... Um... Why is this guy not dying? Um, is that bugged? Okay, there you go. I'm going to play a bunch of modded characters and just don't care if I win or lose. Play deleted, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, and then I'm going to get back to trying to build another streak again. I doubt we'll get another streak as good as the last one, uh, at least for a little while. But we can always try. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that having been on the streak now give me a bit more skill for my next streak. And hopefully we can improve, but we'll see. Um, but even if we don't, it's all it's all just fun and games, isn't it? We're not playing for any particular prize or anything like that, so it is what it is. I tried to get in there as much as possible, even though it means I'm taking more damage, because I like just throwing all the icy fellas at everyone. It's nice. Right. Oop, the whippy boy. Oh, we got him mid-animation. That's kind of cool. Mid-whip. The boss has got to be this way, I'm pretty sure. Bombs there, here we go. Now, obviously, the boss is really easy to hit here. The problem is, actually, because of the boss where, where it's sat, I can't hit the other enemies in the room. So you are going to have to die by other ha the hands of other stuff. Brownie is, of course, coming in clutch by being... Very, very problematic right now. But luckily, we've done a very good amount of damage here. Now, if Brownie triggers here, we're kind of screwed. On this this attack, I'm going to just not shoot in the hopes that Brownie never triggers. There you go. It did trigger towards the end there, but there you go. Got a swift little kill there. Um, and... Get these. Huzzah. Um, grants Dr. Fetus effect for the room. Oh, that sounds awful. Justice. Temperance. Wheel of Fortune. Double our number of bombs. And then this, this I've got to carry for the meme, haven't I? I've got to keep this on me as a just in case. Oh, some range as well. It's all coming up Millhouse right now. It's all going so insanely well. My goodness. Right. Take you out. Pop in here. Right, let's see if we can get into this cash room and see if we've actually got anything worth a damn. Previous ones have not been very good. Oh, this is very worth a damn. Okay. Pretty happy with this stuff. Oh, great. Walked myself straight into the spikes there, didn't I? Cool. Oh, dude, the soul hearts. What's going on right now? But yeah, I'm definitely, whatever our final boss ends up being, I'm definitely going to fight. I say that, it's going to, it's obviously going to be uh, Blue Baby, right? Um, I'm going to use uh, the, the the Dr. Fetus card for the memes because it's going to be terrible. I've, I've actually, I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's a, quite an old video now. It's probably like maybe even a year ago at this point. It might not be quite a year, but I had a video where I was playing as... Um, as this character, and I got Dr. Fetus on a Curse of the Blind uh, pickup really early into the run, and just about managed to win it, and it's like one of the best runs I've ever played as this character, because obviously it basically just turns the entire run into um, the Suicide King challenge, where you're just constantly lobbing bombs at yourself. So it was all the fun. It was very scary, very risky. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I don't introduce characters like this into the street, because things like that can happen. Oh my god, this is a way to spend our money. Holy hell. Also, a tiny planet with this guy? I genuinely don't know how that works. Wow, the soul hearts, baby. Okay, it works weirdly. It's not a bad thing, though, I don't think. I think I like it. Basically, it's just added more hecticness. Which I don't dislike. 
At the minute, I can't hit anything else because I can only hit the guy in the middle of the room, which is annoying. Okay, here's our boss, at least. But yeah, basically, the tier comes over towards us and then loops around us, which makes it a little easier to hit things, actually. The only problem with it is, um... Obviously, it's a little bit more unpredictable, but it does have more range, so that in the, the tiers are in the air for longer and stuff. It's overall, I think it's a good, a good thing. I'm not everyone dead. Is this our Bernie up here? There, there he is. He did manage to hit me, but I don't care. It spawned a Gigabomb. I mean, all right then. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, dude, I'm getting hit so much on this guy. That was really unexpected, getting a Gigabomb there. It's a little bit slow going here. We're getting there. Honestly, avoiding his shots now with Brownie and stuff and this massive hole in the floor. Not the easiest. Especially with Brownie. But, I think one more wave and he's done. Oh no, we got him in this wave, nice. And we got an extra soul heart out of that as well. Okay, cool. In we go. Last boss coming up. Do these chests give us items or not? I can't remember. <gasps> they do. Not bad, not bad. Right, was this for the floor or... F Grants the effect for the room, okay. We, we have to use it on the boss itself then. Amazing. Hopefully we can find our way to the boss reasonably quickly. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Key beggar. Key beggar's kind of interesting on this floor, but it's a lot of keys to get to him, so with only eight keys, I don't think it's that valuable. But key beggar on this floor, if he spawns chests for you, they're always going to contain items, so it's generally pretty good. Oh my god, everything's just freezing in the middle there. Don't know what I took damage on there, but I'll accept it. Oh, we've got two of these guys joined together. I love these little ghosts that join things together. They're a really cool enemy design. Ah ha ha, I don't get to split into anything, bitches. I'm going through all the big rooms first, because normally they lead to the boss. Unfortunately, in this case, that was not the case. This room was just a random room. Oh god, this boss is so tedious as well. Still looking for that holy grail of mods, Fiend Folio, but without bosses. I would appreciate it so much. I feel bad because, like, obviously a lot of effort went into them, but it just ain't my style. Like, I I'm fine with them. Like, I can, I can play with them. I just, if I had the option, I wouldn't. Oh, dude, come on. Wrong way again. I've only got three hearts left. This is going to go terribly, isn't it? Can I get out, please? Okay. I see, I see. <gasps> A chest. Oh my god, it's pause. Eh, do you know what? Pause is actually pretty good. I'll take pause. I might be able to make pause work. I'll oh, freeze them before they split into spiders. Come on now. Okay, we got we, we did that a little bit, not fully. Oh god. Okay, they're all connected, that's fine. And my boom boy just killed them all as well. Nice. Okay, so here's the boss. Three hearts. Not a good chance of survival here, but this this is a kind of a me over on anyways, I don't really mind. Right, so first of all we jump in, we use pause, and I thought my blade would pause too, but apparently not, so this is terrible. We pop this, fuck it. Oh, dude, this is doing, like, no damage. <laughs> I expected to be killing him very quickly here, and this is just bad. Like, obviously, for one, he's flying, which really doesn't help, so the blood bombs aren't doing anything. But I thought, like, we'd be hitting a few actual bomb damage bits here. Oh, I forgot as well, we've got Tiny Planet, which I'm sure is impacting things right now. Okay. 
We have somehow only been hit by two bombs, but we've only got one bomb hit left. Or one normal hit left, should I say. Any, any hit, for that matter. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't really know I'm still alive right now, but there you go. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. It was a fun run either way, and I'll see you guys in the next one.